So here's a quick inventor tip that I thought I might share with uh, some of you out there about uh, some of the selections you can do uh, using our little find tool over here in the browser. So it can be very uh, useful for locating uh, things in documents. One of the things that came up on uh, on site while I was with a customer this week would um, how to turn something on uh, that's something that maybe the enabled switch was turned on or turned off. So in this case if you uh, enable a document um, or a part in a document. So I'll turn off a couple of them in, over here, and this one will go ahead and select the whole thing. Is you know, notice that it grays out. Well, I can't go ahead and grab that anymore from the um, uh, item itself or from the screen itself. Um, and if I didn't know where these were in the uh, browser, um, I'd have to maybe peck down in some of these orders and go ahead and, and select them. Um, so uh, in this case, uh, maybe I want to use the find tool that is in, uh, uh, in Inventor itself. So in this case, I can actually select for components, uh, constraints, features, and sketches. So I can actually drill down uh, within the, the, the um, components themselves or maybe some welds. In this case, I'm going to build a search uh, to look for components and then uh, to match a property. So I could actually find all adaptive um, components um, or maybe in this case, I want to find the ones that are enabled. And then I can put a condition of uh, is yes or no. So if I put uh, enabled no, um, I can add it to my list and I could go ahead and find now and it'll actually go ahead and select those items um, in my browser for me. Um, they would be pre-highlighted um, and then from that uh, aspect I could go ahead and um, you know locate them and then turn them on. In this case you know they have some subsets underneath there. Um, I could go ahead and uh, rerun that um, and it's going to go ahead and select all of these as well. So in this case, you know, since depending on what level they are, um, I can uh, turn those on or off. Um, you could even do such things as, um, you know, finding uh, certain properties um, filled out of something. So, um, you know, the case may be if it were uh, filled out as an engineering manager, maybe even a uh, stock number uh, begins with something or ends with, uh, you can build your Boolean paths. And you could actually uh, turn these on or off um, and make different searches. Uh, you can save the searches um, to be used later. So if there's one, uh, for instance, like this enabled, if you disabled um, components a lot, um, you could save that search. And then rather than going have to rebuild it, um, you can actually go ahead and open that search and run it itself. Um, you can run it on active, uh, the active document, um, or you could actually um, have a search location as well. So keep in mind, um, this is a quick search tool, um, find tool that you can use in your browser, um, and it is does also apply for different things in different components. Um, so if I were in a presentation file maybe or um, a drawing file, um, the searching capabilities are different and allow you to find different things quite easily within your browser and control whatever you need to control. So I hope that helps and have a happy weekend.